Hello everybody, this is Aobi Remote Control for GoPro Hero Black 12, 11, 11 mini, 10, 9, 8 max, and it has a 269 feet of remote control range. So let's open the box, and as you can see, here's the remote control. It actually feels really good on the hand. It is actually uh, water resistant, but it's not waterproof. Just be advised. Unfortunately, it cannot be used for swimming, diving, and other underwater shooting. The box comes with the menu, one silicone land jar, uh, one type C cable, one Berko wristband, and of course the remote itself. Okay, so now let's figure out how to put the bracelet in. It's a little bit tricky, so you have to play around. It might take you a few minutes before you get him in. And then, um, but just be patient, so. I expected that so we can go faster with this video and then uh, I was able to get it in after a few minutes so it's a little tough that's for one side and then on the other side I actually decided to kind of like a bend it like a little bit kind of like a hook hopefully that will speed it out the process to you know to fit it through but it didn't really work so I had basically do the same thing like other take my time you know, and this one, I think it took a little longer. That's what I speeded at three times the speed. But anyways, I was able to, you know, get it in there. And then um, I was ready to put it on my wrist and then try it out. You can actually um, set it up in different uh, positions as you, I mean, on your wrist, in front of your wrist, on the side or on the bottom. I actually prefer on the bottom, but it's up to you. The battery life is very long uh, as they claim to do. A full charge can take up to 15 hours while with the remote control is connected. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the remote control and it says scanny. I'm gonna get closer so you can see what's going on. It says scanny, but my GoPro is off, so I'm gonna have to turn it on so we can scan it. So let's turn off the GoPro with a low battery. <laughs> That's what I actually had it on my GoPro. But anyway, so I was able to go through. So let's go into the menu and we're gonna slide down and then we're gonna slide up to the left and we're gonna click on preference. Once we're in preference, we're gonna click on uh, wireless connections and then we're gonna click on connect device. In here, it's really, really tricky. You can do the remote, but by accident I did Volta and actually connect right away. But this is not a Volta, this is the remote. Uh, uh, Oibo is this is Oibo remote, but it actually works. So I was able to be connected right away. So I'm gonna press record to see if it works, and it's recording as you can see. I'm gonna make a little darker so you can see, and I'm gonna stop the recording, and the recording stop. With the left button, you can actually change the sub uh, mode. I mean, we can go for activity to um, cinematic, uh, ultra slow motion, uh, standard. Uh, full frame and so on and if you want to change from camera to four camera we can we press on the power button let's press it once and it will take us to the photo mode uh, this is uh, the photo mode this is a night mode and then we click again it will take us to time frame so you pretty, pretty much you have pretty much everything on your hands it's uh, for a few settings you may have to go and do it manually in the camera but overall this is a great uh, remote control that you can have on hand in your kit all right, so my camera is about to give up. There was no battery, it's off, and then we're signing off, so check it out. I put a link on the description. All right, so in order to turn off the, the remote control, we just press on the power button for three seconds, and it's off. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so thank you. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Uh, put a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, and share it with your friends, and watch the commercials. Bye-bye.